Do you ever get tired of your webcam being anchored in one spot? Wouldn't it be cool to be able to quickly and easily move that thing anywhere you wanted to? Well, now you can. We're about to pull the screws out of this bad boy. I'm going to pop in one of these Iron Horse Hobbies quick change docks and we're going to be good to go. Welcome to the Iron Horse Root Home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. So what I have done is I have made a dock for this arm. This is a Logitech arm. It'll actually fit any webcam with a normal threading on it, okay? And so the arm will. And so all you need is this arm to be able to use these docks wherever you want. Let me tell you a little bit about the docks first and then I'm going to show you the arm because I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to show you more about it. Alright, so how these docks work is they just are very simple. The um, mount is going to actually slide down into the opening of the dock. The docks have depressed holes so the screws will actually um, go and sink all the way in and not prevent or get in the way of the dock sliding in properly. So you've got a, some recessed holes in there for your screws to match in there and then whenever you get them in there, you're just going to be able to slide these guys in and out very easily and simply. And I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this off the wall. And we're going to replace it with one of the new docks. Basically, we're going to put these new docks all over the place out here. And that way we can move the cameras freely around wherever we want, you know, as long as we can deal with the cordage. You can buy a 16 foot USB extension for about 20 bucks. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these things off the wall and I'm going to replace it with one of my docks. And then we'll be able to slide these guys in and out. Let me show you how we're going to do it real quick. Now, I have taken these in and out enough times to strip these things. And they're getting um, to where they don't want to come out. And I was thinking, because I've been wanting to move them around so I get different camera angles, all right? You just need to put docks wherever you want cameras. And then you'll be, this is going to slide down because the screw's not in there. And so what I'll do now, I have unplugged this camera from its source. All right. I'm going to advertise this arm for the purposes of advertising my dock. All right, so this armature right here, I got it on Amazon, it's 20 bucks, I'm gonna put a link to this thing in the description. And so what it is, is basically, it's got three joints, ball joints, excuse me, it's got two ball joints and one 90 degree. All right, so you got a ball joint here and a ball joint here, which gives you pretty much endless options and then you've got a uh, 180 degree joint right here which only multiplies these options i can pretty much get any camera angle i want um, out here um, but sometimes i don't want that camera placement okay and so what i want to be able to do is take these guys all right and slide them in and out of a dock right and so what we have right here, alright, is your dock, alright, and your docks can hold these cameras, and these cameras can come out of them with relative ease. You know, I got it snug on purpose. So what we're doing is we're using a high quality PLA from Overture, so it should last for a while. It's relatively thick, alright, the sides are definitely from here, alright, you got an interior, all right so it's pretty much been designed to be durable and so what we're going to do is just put this bad boy we've got the recessed holes in here to help with everything and so let's see if this works we will send four screws 
and as well as four interior things in case you're going into a uh, regular wall um, some sheetrock or anything like that we'll send four four screws and four of those we're going to actually send flathead screws that will fit into the recessed holes as well and um, we're going to replace So when I said ball, let me get this up here and get it off my light. Okay. This is a a ball. You have another ball here and you got a 180 degree here. Alright, so I'll loosen my ball. and tighten so when we're ready because usually right here we have this tripod hanging with our webcam screwed in right and so what we do is we hang this here for our live streams and our recordings for some of our work and but what we're going to do is we're going to pop us a dock right here right there for that take the camera see how easy that was to move it's got a thing on the bottom so you can rotate it and everything easy now I'm going to take the camera from said dock and now I'm going to move it to this dock Wait, do it right. Yep. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Booyah. That's all it is to it, y'all. All right, so if you want to be able to move your webcam anywhere you want within 20 feet of your computer so your webcam is not anchored in one boring spot all the time, there's three things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a male-to-female USB extension with a Keep Alive. There's a link to one in the description right there, okay? And that's 20 bucks. Then you need to get you one of these arms right here for webcams, and it'll hold any webcam with a regular thread, all right? You need to get you one of these arms. That's 20 bucks, all right? It's got balls on each end. That's 360, and it's got a 180 in the middle, almost endless uh, angle opportunities. All right, there's a link to this in the description. That's 20 more bucks. Then you need to get you a few of these Iron Horse Hobbies Quick Docks. There's a link to my Etsy store in the description. And I'm going to put the code for Model Railroad Community members right here again right now. Because if you're watching this video, I consider you a member of the Model Railroad Community. And I want you to pay less than the average customer. So I'm going to put a code 
right here right now for y'all if you are watching this video right now and you have access to a 3d printer or you have your own 3d printer I will share this file with you I need you to reach out for me in the comments below and then I'll get with you and get your email and we'll get you the file all I ask is that you don't share the file with anyone else this is Brian with Iron Horse Hobbies coming to you from the Iron Horse route telling you about the Iron Horse Hobbies quick dock so you can move your webcam anywhere you want so it's not anchored in one born spot all the time I thank y'all for watching very much today Check back in quickly because there'll be another upload coming soon. Thank y'all for your time and watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know you were here. Everybody, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends. Thank you, everybody.